My name is Optimus Prime. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. Thomas here with Much Props, going to give you another how-to video. Today we are building something a bit nostalgic. Um, back in the day when I was a little Much Props, um, I used to love watching Transformers. And there's been several movies come out, but I really enjoyed the cartoons back in the day. Uh, and I thought, let's take a trip to nostalgia but put our own spin on it. So I am going to attempt to make my own version of Optimus Prime. At least his head. Let's get to building. Cut out the ridiculous amount of parts and trace them onto your materials. I use 10 millimeter EVA for most of this build. These are the only parts that I heat formed because the 80s style Optimus Prime is a bit more boxy, much like the cars of that time. When using the thicker foam though, this step is extremely important because it allows you to kind of close the seams up, otherwise EVA is just going to pull itself apart and you're going to have a bunch of gaps. These parts make up the start of the helmet. I templated this off of an old hard hat that I had laying around. Every other part for this build is built around this one piece, so this is what you need to start with. The Mohawk goes together pretty simple. Newer versions of Optimus Prime, this part is a lot smaller and it has a lot more layers to it, uh, but I'm going with the simplistic kind of 80s style. Here's where I started piecing together the rest. Parts are drawn, cut out, put together, and glued on. Then the rest of the parts are templated through trial and error, filling in those gaps using poster board.
The face shield has some V grooves cut into the back and then the top and bottom kind of hold it into shape. A lot of time in a lot of these builds is spent just waiting on contact cement to dry. Um, I watch a lot of Hulu and Netflix while I wait. If you are having issues in your build with objects keeping its shape at the bottom, you can do two things basically to fix this problem. In this build, I, I cut out a shape that fits the bottom dimensions that I kind of want and I glued that onto it to help it pull it into shape. I've also used the method where you take some thick gauged wire, sandwich it between the foam and then you can bend the foam into whatever shape you want. Both ways work, I just thought that this particular method worked best for this situation. The cheek front and top are very small parts, but they help to secure the face shield and fill in the gaps in the front. Before adding all the details to the prop, I wanted to make sure and close the rest of the gaps in the helmet. So I went in on the ears and filled the backside and the front. This part was a bit tricky. Now the really fun step, detailing. Now I start using the different thicknesses of foam to build up the layers. The circle is 24 millimeter, the gray antenna part is 10 millimeter like the rest of the build, and the top detailing is four millimeter. At this point, you basically have the 1980s version of Optimus. I'm going to start adding details to combine the different versions of the newer characters. I put these parts on the blank areas to give the flat areas a little bit more interest.
These panels can hide seams and add layers to give it more depth. I also went back and used my wood burner to add panels and details. On the back, I kind of simplified one of the newer versions to fit my build. I traced the bottom pieces onto the back so that I knew where to place my glue and to help me with my spacing. I added the eyes and nose parts at the end. These parts were just pieced together to fill in under the visor so you couldn't see the person in the helmet. You can barely see into these parts so I didn't put a lot of detail in it, it wasn't as important to me. Now on to painting. Of course I plastied it first, then I lightly misted it with a cheap silver spray paint. After that had dried, I masked off parts that I wanted to stay silver, and I painted the rest in a metallic blue. The last painting step is adding some small spots of color with acrylics, adding scratches, and dirtying it up with some acrylic washes. For the lenses, I didn't have any milky tinted acrylic, so I used sheer fabric, glued it onto a frame, and then glued it into the helmet.
and we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, fairly pleased with the way it turned out. It is by no means 100% accurate to any one Optimus Prime. Basically, here's what I did. I took the body style from like the 80s cartoon and then added more modern, more recent details that have been added to the helmet, to the character over the years. So vents in certain places, the random mechanical parts that are sticking out all over the place. Um, I basically just did that to fill in blank areas. And I then went in after that and added recess panels to give some of those flat shapes a little bit more dimension. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. While yes, I realize it's not 100% accurate to anyone, it's my own version, which I think is cool. The template, it looks very complicated. It's over 50 parts to, to build him, um, well over 50 parts. Here's, here's what I'm going to say to attack it. This is just a hard hat. I mean, that's what I templated it off of. So build a hard hat, put the mohawk on top of it. Then basically you're putting a box on the back side and the two, the two left and the right. Then the front just has that mempo part in it glued in. And then you just piece it together after that. Um, adding the details on top just covers blank areas and gives it interest. So I would love to see you guys take this and, and go with it. Make your own version of it um, and share it with me on, on social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, just make sure that when you do those things, you tell people where you got the base template for your builds. Maybe you will try and make one of these helmets yourselves and impress your friends with your remarkable ability to recreate a classic in a semi-cool way. Hopefully. Maybe you'll get some... Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them. Much props. It is very large. But I have a big head, so... Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. Uh, uh, vroom, 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 vroom.